hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is april if this is your first time here welcome to the channel please subscribe right here i hope you guys are having an amazing new year's i am cheers to 2019 i can't wait to put out content in this channel and show you guys everything i've planned for my channel this year but anyway for this video today i'm going to be addressing three questions that i've gotten a lot in my email on my instagram dms and just like stuff that you guys are interested in knowing about um, this is just continuing on with the series on being a cosmetic chemist. As you guys know, I've been doing this series for maybe like two months now. And I see that you guys love uh, hearing about like the process of getting into being a chemist and all that good stuff. So in this video, I sort of look at all of the questions that you guys all pretty much have in common and I'm just going to address them in this video. So the first question I've been getting is, I didn't major in chemistry. Do I still have a chance in being a cosmetic chemist? What should I major in in college? So I think that a lot of you guys are thinking that you have to be a chemistry major to be a chemist and that is far from the truth. A lot of people even go as far as saying, hey, I'm already like a junior as a biochemistry major. Do I have to start over and switch to the chemistry major? And that is not true, that's completely false. As long as you're doing a science major, you're perfectly fine. If you're in chemistry, biology, microbiology, biochemistry, uh, even kinetics, physics, all of those majors are completely fine but I will advise to go ahead and minor in chemistry because a lot of those classes already come with chemistry classes so I will advise you to go ahead and do a chemistry minor so at least it looks like you have some type of chemistry concentration in your major so uh, yeah I think that's the only thing I would really advise as far as that but if you're already like a senior there's no need to go back and start over you're perfectly fine where you are. Right, the next question I'll be getting is what kind of things should I do while I'm in college to land the job after I graduate? So I have three things that I'm gonna recommend right now. Internships are super important. Please do not look down on internships. Internships are something that you shouldn't take very lightly. Try to do as much as you can. Get these internships out there. Try to talk to your mentors, your teachers, your classmates, see what sources they're using to find internships and use those to your advantage and try to get as much internships as there are out there. And you might even get a better chance at getting a job with a bigger company just because you have all those internships under your belt. Number two thing I'm going to recommend is shadowing. If, you, if you're lucky enough to find a chemist that you know of or have a mutual friend with or maybe your classmate's dad or friend of friend, something, try to shadow them and that just means just working under them and just kind of maybe do like a whole day with them while they're working and just following them around while they're working just to sort of see what this job really is like on a day to day basis. Um, because you don't want to get into something or commit to something that you're you don't 100% like you have to love Whatever you decide to do if you've been watching my videos um, Especially the video where I talked about what you should do as far as your career I think that it's super important to align whatever it, it is that you decide to do with your career I think it's important to align that with who you are So make sure that you do as much shadowing as you can if you are lucky enough to meet a chemist shadow them and it'll be an amazing help when you decide to make a decision of what you want to do and the last thing i'm going to recommend is if you're lucky enough also ask questions that you're worried about ask your teachers ask your mentors your chemistry teachers your science teachers ask them if you know anything about being a cosmetic chemist most likely than not they know someone that's in that field ask them as many questions as uh, have been bothering you about this field and that will also be a good help. Alright, so the last question I've been getting a lot is what is the best way to go about my job search, my job hunting process? So I have already mentioned this in my video about how to be a cosmetic chemist, uh, which I'll link up here. Uh, so in that video, I did mention that it was a nightmare for me to find a job as a chemist. It was literally a nightmare for me. And I think it was so because uh, the field of cosmetic chemistry is such a small little niche and there's not a lot of people that talk about it or there's not a lot of people that you really that you meet every day that are in that field so it's yeah it's such a small 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 niche where you kind of have to put in the extra work to figure out you know how to get a job in that field uh, but it's definitely possible I'm a living witness that it's possible but 
for me personally going through sources like uh indeed and glassdoor and monster all those things didn't really help me in my job search it was whenever i took linkedin very seriously updated my profile and actually started to search chemists in the dallas area where i live that i started to get lucky it was when i kind of had my aha moment i found a local chemist in my area and then i hit up the company that the first worked for so hit up the first company those individuals work for because that just means those companies are willing to hire fresh new graduates so hit up those companies and let them know that you're searching for a job and see if they're hiring if they're hiring go ahead and send your resume and you would most likely get a job except you just completely screw up the interview but yeah i think that's honestly the best way to go and um yeah i think that's it for this video i really wanted to address those three major questions i've been getting a lot in my emails and my inbox if you have any more questions make sure to leave the questions down below subscribe again so you see more videos in this series i plan to put out a lot more so you guys get a lot more familiar with this field i know a lot of people also tell me there's not a lot of people that are doing this type of videos so they appreciate me doing this and i am so happy when i see that because i couldn't really find a lot of videos that helped me when i was looking to get a job in the field of cosmetic chemistry so it's really 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 exciting to know that you guys are really happy to have someone to sort of look up to but yeah that's it for this video thank you all so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye